Hey Men and Nerds, this is Steve Kimes and I want to talk to you today about church buildings. So I was listening to Ebony's video about how people of color, and especially young people, how they're having trouble with, with the police and how it's uh, how Milwaukee is such a really horrible place to be if you're a person of color. And I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, well, gosh, you know, I mean, is, is there anywhere to go? I mean, there's certain neighborhoods to go to, but, you know, it's interesting because back in the uh, ancient days of the church, in the very first instance of uh, of uh, churches that they, they didn't have any buildings they met in houses and the houses sometimes would second as a place for place for people to hide in uh, to have sanctuary and we have a whole theme in the in the whole history of the church of uh, being of having places for people to hide having places for people to have sanctuary and that and it's interesting because our our church property here uh, that that I'm at right now that's called sanctuary we call it we call it sanctuary. And we have what we call day shelters where people can go during the day and they can have a place to hang out if they feel like they're not safe in neighborhoods. So for homeless people, for youth who are abused, for uh, for anybody who feels like they need, uh, they need a, a place for security. And not very many, but some people are actually trying to hide from the police. Um, and the police have actually come here, sanctuary, what does that mean? What do you mean by sanctuary? And uh, I'll tell them it means that it's a safe place. It's a place where it's safe for people to, uh, for people to be. And it is a place where nobody, uh, where nobody is going to threaten another person. And so if a police officer comes and they start threatening other people, I will say, I'm sorry, we have a policy here in this church that we don't allow any threatening to go on. You know, so you're going to have to stop or you're going to have to leave. Uh, that's just, uh, that is the policy, policy of our church. That's how we run things. And I think that we need more places for people to go. I mean, our church buildings are fine. They're, they're worship centers. And as a worship center, it gets used maybe once a week and, and other places it gets used more often than that. But should, but we don't need a building for a worship center because we can worship any day of the week and we can worship anywhere. Honestly, we can worship anywhere. Uh, you look in Acts chapter seven, and you have the you, you have the long speech uh, that Stephen gave. Is that Acts seven or Acts six? Anyway, um, and you have the long speech that Stephen gave, and he and there were a number of themes that he wove through there. But one of the themes that he put in there is how it was unnecessary for anyone to have a building in order to worship God. That the temple, which was the center of, of worship in, at, at his time, the center of all, all God-centered worship, he's saying the temple was totally unnecessary. And it could be wiped away, it could be destroyed, and in fact God did destroy it because it just wasn't necessary for worship. It wasn't necessary for a regular Christian life. Even so, I believe that our buildings shouldn't be worship centers because we don't need a, a place in order to have worship. But people who are homeless do need a place to live. There's a church down the street, and they're using all the back area of their church to build an apartment building so that way people who can't afford to live anywhere else can just go ahead and live on the church property. Uh, they're there's people do need a building for that people do need a building to congregate people do need a building for sanctuary and people who don't have any way of of being able to be protected from the weather do need a place uh, to crash and to uh, and to be uh, to be safe for a while that's what the buildings should really be for that's what our churches should really be for they should be sanctuaries places of safety places of protection places of shelter because that, those are the kinds of things that, we, that people really find necessary. If we want to worship, let's worship in our homes. If we want to have a, if we want to have a Bible study place, let's, let's do it at home. You know, 
But if we want to have a central place where the community can be used, then maybe we ought to be using it for places as, as a place uh, for those who actually desperately need a building, who don't have a building available for their uses. Maybe we ought to think about using it that way. That's just some thoughts. Uh, by the way, if you want to respond to this video, continue this thing. What are some unique things that maybe you're using your church building for? Or do you not have a church building? What do you think about this? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.